Daryl Gates said, quote, every drug user should be shot and killed in the street. But I do believe that we've got to get serious. That is the center and core tenet of the D.A.R.E. philosophy by associating drugs with violence. Drugs are not violent. Try doing some. Legalize heroin! Every drug should be legal! Ignorance is killing people. Poverty is killing people. Heroin does heroin is a medicine. Look up Dr. Barbara Brower. Dr. Barbara Brower is a, a physician and scientist in Switzerland using heroin to treat uh, schizophrenia and other psychiatric. It's a pretty strong medicine though. Well, yeah, but anything can be, you know, alcohol is a pretty strong medicine, but yet we still can drink beer. You know, you can have beer, you can have jungle juice moonshine stuff, you know? Like, we do these things and we make them so that people can consume them safely. People don't want to talk about oxycodone, don't want to talk about pain meds like that, and we need to be talking about opioids being more accessible and yeah. safe. This is Haley, the only protester outside the International D.A.R.E. Conference in Las Vegas, where inside, hundreds of future D.A.R.E. officers are being trained by seasoned veterans. Like Retro Bill, who once told me, by way of a roll-in TV set in fifth grade, not to do cocaine or join a gang. These illegal drugs are always bad for you. Marijuana is also a harmful drug. Say no! Retro Bill, capital R-E-T-R-O, capital B-I-L-L, also known as the International D.A.R.E. Safety and Self-Esteem buddy, official title. Hey everyone, I'm Retro Bill, your dare safety buddy. Cool. I've been motivationally speaking professionally for 25 years. I was somebody who just constantly asked myself, what is my calling in life? And when I would go out and speak to kids, elementary, middle school, high school kids, continuation high schools, juvenile detention centers, and letting kids know that those men and women that wear a badge are your friends. They're not foes. I noticed that there's a, a switch because it's easy to have them painted as if they're all bad and all they want to do is beat people up and throw people in jail. But I've had the luxury of these 25 years professionally to work with D.A.R.E. officers in our schools. And I can tell you, that group are in law enforcement 100% for the right reasons. Your D.A.R.E. officers are always there to help you keep safe, drug-free, and violence-free. Cool! And by the way, I'm talking urban schools. I'm the only Caucasian in the building, and I know a lot of those kids are going home to tough lives. You said you were part Cherokee as well? Yeah, yeah. I got native blood in me, so, which is really important when I hold that dear to my heart. But they're also going home in many cases to difficulties in the home. We never know. You could watch a documentary on television. You can see a news segment on TV, right? You can read a book. You can read a quote, right? You can hear a speaker speak. It could be a teacher, a counselor, a police officer, a retro bill. And all of a sudden, just know this, something will click for somebody in a positive way. There, drug and alcohol resistance education. Many of you who went to school in the 80s and 90s may remember Dare. It was a Reagan-era drug prevention program that was once in 95% of all American schools until 1998 when it lost all of its federal funding following the release of a study that showed that students of the D.A.R.E. generation were actually more likely to use drugs than any other generation before them. But now guess what? D.A.R.E. is motherfucking back, y'all. No more getting high, because it's 2023, shit's all different now. You got fentanyl, all bad. You got vaping, giving all the kids popcorn lungs. So. Dare is back in this bitch. Dare is moving forward into the next millennium. You heard it here first. If you'd like to see our complete documentary, Dare Conference, which features interviews with the president of Dare, Retro Bill, the Dare Student of the Year, Dare Officer of the Year, the captain of Dare Mexico, and other concerned school security officers, go to our Patreon, www.patreon.com slash channel5. Again, that's www patreon.com slash channel 5. As many of you know, we are a completely independent, primarily crowdfunded news organization, and most of that funding comes from our Patreon. Have a nice day. Channel 5 Live Worldwide, Hollywood and Vine. Fuck the authority, Channel 5 News. Channel 55. We don't fuck with Custers. And 5 is the best number. <laughs>